This game has a button specifically dedicated to quacking. Man, this video is like, it's already over. Welcome to Duck Game, a multiplayer action shooter where you play as ducks. To be more specific, you play as ducks that put on giant hats and shoot each other with weapons ranging from tiny flare guns to mega death rays and suicide pistols. Damn, this game gets me already. Duck Game was originally released on the Oya in 2014 before being released on Windows and Steam a year later. If I had to compare it to another game, I'd probably say Super Smash Bros. But in that game, is there a button that lets your character quack on command? Or is there a button that makes your character ragdoll for no reason? Or is there even a duck character as Super Smash Bros.? Ah, oh, shit, wait, they, uh, they added the duck hunt dog in the new one. But can you play as a duck and then wear a hat that makes you look like a more realistic duck? Yep, that's, that's why I thought duck game for game of the year every year. Move over, Smash Bros. You start in the spawn room where you invite your friends and choose your hat. Choosing your hat, by the way, is the most important part of the game. Does it give you any combat benefits? I don't know, you tell me if strapping a giant refrigerator to your head is gonna help you aim down your sights better. This hat's name is Dicks. Pretty much everything in this game will kill you in one hit. That includes getting a rock thrown on your head or getting jumped on by someone wearing a sweet pair of red shoes. Because of this, rounds go by very quickly, making for an incredibly action-packed and fun experience. There's a large array of weapons and a decent number of maps, so even if you play the game for hours on end to the point where the maps and weapon spawns become familiar, as I have, the game is still super fun to enjoy with friends. And if you get tired of the weapons and maps provided in the game, there are a good amount of mods on Steam to add custom maps and weapons to change the game up even more. The game does have a single player mode, but it's pretty short and consists of some simple missions, so I wouldn't recommend buying the game unless you've got some friends to play it with. I have friends to play it with, okay? I swear I didn't pay them. The game is built with incredibly tight controls that allow for fast and precise movements. It rewards you for your skill and quick reactions, making you feel accomplished when you win a round or kill another player. And it also allows for techniques like sliding or shooting upwards while floating. The weapons also allow for other unique abilities like sliding across the floor or climbing the wall with a chainsaw. At the same time that Duck Game creates this feeling of intensity, it also reminds you that it's a party game when all of your friends spawn next to pistols and shotguns and all you get is a fucking trumpet. Naturally, I always try to pick up the instrument and run around playing it like an idiot while my friends shoot each other or throw grenades into the music room while we're having band practice. Trombone. I'm throwing my drumstick, ready? <laughs> give me the give me give me the beat for we will rock you. <laughs> I'm taking your head. Oh. oh yeah, what? I win cuz I didn't touch a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> For a game as independent and seemingly small as Duck Game, there's an incredible attention to detail and atmosphere that makes this game so fun to keep coming back to. Every time I play, I notice new things like the way doors or windows have small bullet holes and marks that they've been shot through, or just the way weapons, items, and ducks interact with each other. For example, if a duck gets shot with a dart gun or hit with another weapon or grenade, they'll drop their weapon and the game will make a little bleep sound to emulate them cursing. Swinging swords can sometimes deflect bullets, weapons can't be picked up if they've recently been made red hot by fire, and the ducks even turn into little plates of roasted meat if they die by burning. Probably my favorite part about Duck Game is the way that humor is subtly inserted into almost every single aspect of the game. The game will create a sense of competition between players with its occasional intermissions that show the players what their score is, but the score is demonstrated by the ducks throwing rocks with their respective hats across a field. And if you press the start button to skip the intermission, a little duck hand comes out of the corner and you can swing it around. <laughs> oh, do the wave. Lower. Down, Lower. up. Down, <laughs> up, down, up. There are so many stupid weapons in Duck Game that every round ends up being something new and different, except for the fucking level where you all spawn on a tiny platform and the only weapons are the four net guns and it's completely random who ends up winning. Or the grenade death room. No! no. Oh god! <laughs> no. No! <laughs> Throw it on the other corner. Oh, that's a head. Oh god. Yeah, it's my TV. Kind of glitching out. This is so intense. Once you know how to dodge against the Damn grenades. It. Yes. Yeah. Duck Game isn't a game about dueling with guns. It's a game where two people might duel with guns, but the other one's running around holding a rock, and the other one's running around swinging a sword, yelling. Genji is with you. There are too many weapons for me to explain all of them in one video, but let me tell you about some of my favorites. 
There's the good book, which allows you to read some sort of gospel to other ducks, converting them into replicas of yourself and getting you extra points. Yo, Mikey, I wanna read you a bedtime no, story. No, fuck you! <laughs> fuck you, no, no! Yes. Just kill yourself, just kill yourself real quick. Got him. Two points. <laughs> There's the mind control gun, which lets you take control of other ducks and force them to jump off the map and commit suicide, unless they're wearing a tinfoil hat for extra protection. Get the fuck away from me, get you guys. Get the tinfoil hat, get the tinfoil hat! Where's the hat? I can break free. It's right there, bitch. <laughs> oh, no, I just broke free. You can't do it, can you? Oh. <laughs> There's also a variant of the regular chain gun that shoots foam darts, which make the other ducks drop their guns. But if you fire it for long enough, it just ends up spraying fire all over the map. The shotgun that spawns in the character select room specifically spawns on one map and randomly in some presence, and has unlimited ammo and a fast reload time. Whenever you see that spawn shotgun, you you camp for it. Eh. Get the shoes. <laughs> Jump on him. Oh, he has the shoes too. <laughs> no! Whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa. It's the spawn shotgun. <laughs> Lastly, there's literally just an RC car toy with a bunch of explosives strapped to it that you can drive around and blow up. In the end, I like this game because it's stupid and because it's fun. Other more competitive games often make it harder to have fun when I have to be constantly focused on not messing up. But every single time I play Duck Game, it's exciting because I know it's gonna be a great time. It doesn't matter who wins or loses because someone's gonna be a fucking idiot and launch themselves off the map with a recoil, the death ray, blow themselves up with a grenade, or run around with nothing but a flower trying not to get shot. That's it. I'm gonna go play more Duck Game. <laughs> oh, my favorite level! Stop, stop, stop! Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> He's out of ammo, stay on the gun spawn! What the whoa, fuck what? just happened? Whoa, 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 where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what the fuck uh, just happened? Hello? The game broke! Dude, Broke fucking they just got pulled into the sky! <laughs> it's a black hole! <laughs> They're Where falling now! <laughs> Who won? Somebody got the point! Who got the point? Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to let you know that now that it's summertime, I've started streaming again on Twitch several days a week, so you should go follow me. If you're watching this video on the day that it was uploaded, there's a chance I'm even streaming right now, so you should go check it out. You can also join my Discord to get alerts when I'm streaming. Alright, that's enough self-promotion for one video. See ya!